That's right, Kubota is going to be releasing a fully electric compact tractor by April of 2023. Finally, we have promise of these major manufacturers talking about bringing us smaller tractors that are fully electric. John Deere showcased one of those electric tractors at the 2022 Equip Expo. Although that tractor may have not been operable, it's a promise that we're going to be seeing these small tractors hit market very soon. There are already a couple companies producing compact tractors. Solic Track is probably the one that comes to mind for most of us. They offer a 25 horsepower, four wheel drive, fully electric, compact tractor. And their base price is $27,999. And then you gotta pay an additional $4,499 for the front loader. So roughly 32,000 plus tax out the door. To take the electric tractor a step further, there's a company by the name of Monarch. They're headquartered in Livermore, California, and they're promising a fully electric autonomous tractors. Monarchs named this tractor MKV, a tractor that will do all the work for you. John Deere released a teaser on a larger autonomy tractor earlier in 2022, and I have a couple shorts on this channel showing off that concept. But my focus is on that subcompact and compact offerings. And another mention is the Agco Corporation, which is the parent company of brands like Massey Ferguson and Fent. And they're promising a tractor that's fully electric under the Fent brand by 2024 or early 2025. The fully electric battery powered Fent E100 Vero is close to production. And I'm sure we'll hear something from the Massey Ferguson brand pretty soon. And we're in pretty exciting times when it comes to tractors in this new battery technology that's being introduced to the markets. I think we'll see a lot of new companies maybe pop up, create a lot of competition and help stabilize those prices where it doesn't get too out of hand and maybe be able to keep those prices affordable for the non-farm consumers. But I'm very excited to see that Kubota is planning on releasing a compact tractor within the next five or six months. Now we'll have to wait on those other manufacturers like John Deere, Massey Ferguson, Coyote, LS, New Holland, Bobcat, Branson, TYM, even Bad Boy. I think we're gonna see a rush of a lot of announcements in 2023. And I anticipate that there's gonna be an introduction to new companies that might try to step in and steal the market share from these other major manufacturers. We'll have to wait and see. Kubota headquartered in Osaka, Japan is the first Japanese manufacturer to release electric tractor. Kubota announced that they will release a limited amount of these fully electric compact tractors, the LXE261 in the European markets which is actively striving towards carbon neutrality. The LXE261 will be made available for long-term lease for municipalities in Europe starting in April of 2023. In 2021, Kubota announced taking the company toward a direction of carbon neutrality by 2050. Kubota has made it clear that they'll advance development of electric, hybrid, fuel cell, and other drives in effort to reduce their carbon footprint. Regions throughout Europe are tightening regulations, such as the ban on all diesel vehicles in Paris, France by 2024. Similar bans here in the United States were just passed into law banning all small gasoline engines, 25 horsepower or less in the state of California starting in 2024. Here's what we know about Kubota bringing the fully electric compact tractor to market. The LXE261, it'll be offered in the European markets as a fleet lease option. And that's a real bummer, but maybe that'll help work out the bugs before they actually release that in the US markets. We know the tentative launch is April of 2023. The target release location is in Europe. That's France, Germany, United Kingdom, Spain, and et cetera. Target customers are municipalities and public bodies. And they're gonna name this tractor the Compact Electric Tractor. <laughs> The LXE261 with a maximum output of 19.1 kilowatts, which is equivalent to 26 horsepower. And the battery technology that's going to be used is lithium ion. And potential applications are going to be mowing, hauling, fertilizations in parks and other green space management. And Kubota released this information on September the 5th. 2022. You can find that on our website and I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can go read this article that they wrote on their website for their news dated for September the 5th, 2022 and verify everything that I'm talking about today. So there's still a lot of questions that are left unanswered, but we'll probably get those answered in the coming months. Like what implements will be made available for the new electric compact tractors? Will the category one implements work on these new electric tractors. The tractor is what powers the tools to do the job. If you have no implements, 
then the tractor itself is really not useful to anyone. So my main question is how many different implements will a Kubota LXE 26-1 have available? I would assume that Kubota would design the tractor to be compatible with all the other implements that you would use on previous Kubota diesel powered engines. And if any more information is released, I'll be sure to update everyone. I love that we finally can start talking about these major manufacturers bringing compact and subcompact tractors to the market. As we continue to see bans put on combustible engines in the United States and all around the world, it's undeniable that we're going to be seeing a lot of new technologies come out for tractors, zero turns, UTVs, and all other equipment that are used around small farms and residential properties. I'd love to ask you of one favor to help support my channel. Smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you like the content that I'm creating. And thank you for hanging out with me to the end. Be sure to check out my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one.